Hey everybody, here is problem 9-1b, which is a lot like 9-1a in your homework. Uh, I know I say that every time and it's kind of obvious, but oh, maybe that's why everybody calls me Captain Obvious, uh, because I often state things that are obvious. Um, that's okay, my children and my wife still love me, even if I am obvious. So, you know, I'll take it. Anyways, this is the DeRose Company, organized January 1st. During the first year of operations, the following plant asset expenditures and receipts were recorded in random order. There they are. There's nine credits and a debit. Uh, I'm sorry, nine debits and a credit. Instructions, analyze the transaction using the table column headings provided here. Enter the number of each transaction in the item column. Enter the amounts of the appropriate columns. So I've set up my Excel spreadsheet with four columns, item, land, building, other accounts. Uh, and I'm just going to go through each one of these. So the cost of real estate purchased as a plant site, land 200,000, building 70,000. So we'll say item one, and let's see, the land is 200,000, and the building 70,000. And that's it. And then we just go through and do this for each item. Uh, item two is accrued real estate taxes paid at the time of the purchase of real estate. So we're going to include that in the land. Number three, the cost of demolishing the building uh, to make the land suitable for construction of a new building. You know what? This is confusing and I think I messed it up already. Um, the reason we're not, we're, I guess I should have read through all of these first, but it looks like we're just going to destroy the building. If we were going to use the building for, uh, I guess if we were going to use the building as a, as a building going forward, then we would include that in buildings. But if we're not, then we include that all in the price of the land. Um, so that can be confusing. When you purchase real estate, usually you separate out the cost of the land of the building, and the cost of the land is part of the, is part of the asset land, and the cost of the building is part of the asset building. But if you're just going to destroy the building so that you can use the land for other purposes, uh, then you kind of then that seventy thousand dollar building value or cost doesn't roll forward into a new building because you're no longer going to own the building. You're going to destroy it. So uh, I'm uh, revising this so that number one is the whole 270 is part of the land cost. The accrued uh, real estate taxes are also part of the land cost. Number three, the cost of demolishing the old building, part of the land cost. Number four, the cost of filling and grading the land. Now let's see, that's also part of prepping the land, so that's Number five, excavation cost for the new building. So now this is this is the cost of the building. Number six, architect's fees on the building plans. That's going to be part of the building cost. Number seven, the full payment to the building contractor. It's part of the building cost. 629, 500. Um, number eight, Cost of parking lots and driveways, that's going to be part of what's called land improvements. We're going to put that into other accounts. Number nine, real estate taxes paid for the current year on the land. So once we've already purchased the land and we pay any back taxes, the back taxes or the accrued taxes, those are part of the purchased cost of the land. But any taxes going forward, uh, once we've already purchased the land, uh, those are now going to be annualized expenses. So that's going to go to another account. Proceeds from the salvage of the demolished building. So we made some money by selling uh, the scrap or whatever from the building. So that's going to be a reduction in the overall cost of the land. And now all we have to do is total them up. We'll use our fill tool. 
and there is our overall cost. And that's it.